Windows 11 is great, but let's be honest, it's missing a lot of features that just make sense. These stand-free apps feel so polished and essential, you'll wonder why they aren't already part of Windows. I've curated 10 free apps that blend perfectly with Windows 11. They're not just useful, they feel native, like something Microsoft forgot to include. No bloatware, just sleek, functional, modern tools. Installing apps on Windows using Winget is powerful, but not user-friendly. Uniget UI is a clean, modern front-end for the Windows Windows package manager. Think of it as the app store Windows should have had. Search, install and update your favorite apps with just a few clicks. Here I have Uniget UI open and you guys can install this application from the Microsoft store. Now on top you will find the first option discover packages and here I search for power toys and down below you can see pretty much four of the packages which this application actually found. Now here on the right you can see the source which mostly is Winget. Now here down below you also have software updates feature select them right here and then click here on update selected packages. Now down below you will also find installed packages feature and here if the app has this arrow it means that it also has an update and down below you can pretty much see a ton of the applications you have pretty much installed on your computer and here you can also see the source some of them are Winget and some of them are also Microsoft Store and down below you will also find package managers option where you can pretty much add the package managers to this application. Not only Winget, but here you can see also that you can enable Scoop, Chocolaty, NPM, Pip, Cargo, or VCPKG, NetTool, PowerShell 5, and even PowerShell 7. Overall, I think that this app is a must have if you have a Windows computer. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel. And now let's go to the next app. On Windows, there's no quick way to preview files with Without opening them. Quick Look lets you tap the spacebar to preview just about any file instantly. Images, PDFs, videos, even code. Once you try it, you won't go back. Now here you can see that I have Quick Look up and running and you guys can also install this application from the Microsoft Store directly. Now here I have a few of the pictures and pretty much you cannot actually preview them right here. The only option would be here if I click on details, you could see the image right here. However, to see it in a big picture you can just right now click on space while you have quick look up and running and this is basically the preview of the image i think it's really really cool now with a quick look you can also install a few plugins like the office viewer you also have here office viewer native helix viewer you can pretty much install them from this github website overall i think that the quick look is one another app which you should definitely install on your windows 11 computer windows Windows can't automatically switch between light and dark themes on a schedule. Auto dark mode gives you the feature Windows still doesn't have. Automatic theme switching by time or sunset. Mac OS has it, now Windows does it too. By the way, you guys can install this application from the Microsoft Store as well. And here on top, you will have to enable this feature to enable the automatic switching from light to dark theme and the other way around. Now here down below, you can also enable from sunset to sunrise. Now down below, you can go to personalization and you can here enable wallpaper switch. You can click here on type a picture or you can also click here on solid color or even Windows Spotlight. Now down below, you can go here to choose your wallpaper. You can pick a file here. I will pick one of the wallpapers, which is part of my wallpaper pack. You guys can check it out by clicking in the video description below, by the way. And now once you've selected here the light theme option, you can go here to the dark theme and also change a different wallpaper, just like this one, for example. And now here, once you've set the wallpaper you can go back to time here and now if you have this set from sunset to sunrise so it means that the light mode will be active from 5 21 a.m and the dark mode will apply at 8 26 p.m so i think that this app is one of the apps which you should definitely install if you of course have a windows 11 computer the default windows mail app is clunky and outdated window mail is the email app you didn't know you needed it's minimal fast and feels like like it belongs in Windows 11 out of the box. Now, this is the video mail I actually mentioned, and I think it looks very, very nice. You guys can also install this application on the Microsoft Store. Here on the left, you will find this really nice menu. And with this app, you get up to three free accounts on this platform. If you want more, you will unfortunately have to pay. But hey, I think this free mail client for Windows is the absolutely gorgeous application, which I think you should definitely install 
if you have Windows 11 computer. Windows 11 weather app is limited and uninspiring. The default weather app is fine, but Fluent Weather makes it beautiful, gorgeous design and also accurate forecast. Here you can see how this application actually looks like. I think it's a night a day difference compared to the default Windows 11 weather app. You can see here really nicely daily forecast. Down below you can also see hourly forecast. If you even scroll down down below you can see weather insights. And if I go here up you can see here that we can also click on the refresh button. And if you click here on the settings you can change the units to imperial or hybrid. Time format, acrylic effects, background image as well. You can also disable that if you want to. Overall I think that this app looks way better to compared to the default Windows weather app and I think it's a must install on your Windows 11 computer. And now let's talk about the browser which is Zen browser and most browsers today are bloated and cluttered even if they are fast they're not built for focus. In this case Zen browser gives you a minimalist experience with vertical tabs kind of like Arc but designed to feel native on Windows. It's clean, distraction free and also super lightweight. Now here you can see the Zen browser. I think it's really gorgeous looking it has this Mika effect behind the top bar and also the vertical tabs now you can click here on plus to open the new tab for example you can go to YouTube and if you go here to the three dots you can go here to the settings and also change the look and the feel of the browser here you have three options like collapse toolbar which is currently active multiple toolbars and also single toolbar where you will also find the URL bar on top I think it's really really cool and you can also right click on this toolbar on the left and click on compact mode and enable it. Now you can also see here that we have only this window and if I hover with the mouse over the left edge you can see how the tabs here look like. Overall I think this is a really cool Firefox based browser which is one of the apps which you must also install on your Windows 11 computer. Transferring files between devices on Windows is slow and clunky. Apple users have airdropped, Windows has local send, no accounts, no cloud, just drag and drop between the devices on the same network. Now here you can see that I have this local send app up and running and if you have here receive you can also go on your phone and if you have your devices on the same Wi-Fi network this computer which is currently named Rich Onion should be visible to you on your phone and you can send the files. You can also click here on send select a few files to send and you should also see here under the nearby devices the device which you want to send the files to and this app can be downloaded from their website. Unfortunately, it's not on the Microsoft Store. And I think it's a must install on your Windows 11 computer. The Windows terminal is intimidating and outdated for many users. Warp is what a terminal looks like when it's built for humans. Autocomplete, AI assistance and a sleek UI make this a must have for developers and command line beginners. And I think it's really cool to have it installed on your computer. You can see here that the design it's very, very sleek. You can go here on the settings and go to under appearance and down below you can also enable the acrylic texture. However, you guys can also disable that and change the window opacity, let's say up to 25. You can also ask it for a few suggestions. So here I asked it, how can I install my name library? And if I click on enter, you can see here here that it also has this thinking and you can just right now follow the instructions to install in this case this Manim library. Overall I think that this is a really cool AI terminal which you should definitely install on your Windows 11 computer and did I mention it's free and you guys can install it from there website. Wallpaper engine is powerful but heavy and not free. Check out Sucrose. It's a lightweight free alternative for animated and dynamic wallpapers designed to fit beautifully with Windows 11 look. This app can be installed through the Microsoft Store. You can just search for it on Sucrose wallpaper engine and I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. Now this app is really cool because it's free. Here you can pretty much click on any of the wallpapers and it will apply it on your desktop. Now, if you think that this selection is not enough, you can click here on store and here you will pretty much find a ton of the wallpapers to pick from. For example, even Windows Ventura and you guys can also go down below for, for example, to dynamic. And if you think that this wallpaper app takes too much of the resources, so you think it's a bit heavy on the system, you can go here under the performance and change a few settings right here. Now, overall, I think this is a great alternative to the wallpaper engine. As 
especially because it's free. Windows Native Calendar lacks the productivity integration, and here's where Notion Calendar comes into play. It syncs directly with your Notion databases and brings native desktop productivity to life. If you use Notion, this is a no-brainer. Now, here I have the Notion Calendar up and running. You guys can install this application directly from their website. And I highly recommend this application because it looks so damn minimal and also functional. Here on the left, you can see the days in the current month of the May. You can also see here current day, Saturday 17th, and also the current hour. Here, you can also add, if you want, multiple accounts to this application. And I think that this is also very, very useful to have multiple accounts inside one application. So this is what the dark mode actually looks like. Overall design of the application looks way more modern compared to the default Windows Calendar application. And I think it's a must install, even if you don't have the Notion. Now with that said, I think that these apps feel like they were meant to be part of Windows 11. Which one's your favorite or did I miss one that should be on the list? Drop it in the comments. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in this wallpaper, you guys can check out the wallpaper pack in the video description below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.